Hi everyone. So today's card is going to be using the scalloped uh, Lawn Fawn scalloped treat box. No, pop up card <laughs> box. <laughs> My god, maybe I should start again. Um, so I've die cut it the main element twice. I've shown you there, I've cut three of the what are the green pieces, which are the inserts, and then I cut out the other um, panels. I cut that out twice. Um, again, there's four panels on each section, if you like, and there's two sections. So the blue ones, um, just showing you where I'm folding um, on those score lines. One of the main, the bigger panels I've left flat so that it can stand up um, on its own and doesn't sort of flop over. Pardon the way I've said that, but you know. So I'm going to put some tape on you and you'll see in a minute. <laughs> I totally put the tape on the wrong way. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, do what I do, not what I say. <laughs> um, no, is it do what I say, not what I do? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what the expression is, but I realized here that I put it on slightly wrong. So I, I was able to get the tape off. So maybe it's not great tape that that's how easily it comes apart. And actually when I was going to, um, when I went to um, photograph the images, I realized that um, the middle section had actually fallen <laughs> fallen apart so the tape is not good so that's why I was able to take it apart but what you'll do is you'll line it up and then put the little tab on the inside so this is going to be inside your card and then that final piece will fit together there as well um, it'll become clearer as we go through this and hopefully I'll explain it sort of okay. So now we're essentially on the outside of the card and you'll see there's some narrower and some wider pieces um, that you get from the die set. And so um, I'm just putting all the panels for the bottom outside of the box. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm just lining it up roughly in the middle of that section. Um, and you'll see here I'll put the two wider ones on or the larger ones and then the two square ones that go on the two slightly smaller panels um, and I thought I'd better zoom out because I realized every time I pick something up you can't see what I'm doing so <laughs> I had a lot of issues with this card <laughs> I was trying to get it done because basically this is the last card of my Halloween series for 2019 so or project so um, and I needed to get these done and posted and ready for you guys before I started to um, basically my hubby's surprised me for my birthday it's one of those big ones that nobody wants to talk about um, and he surprised me with overhauling my entire craft room so I needed to make sure that I had these all done for you guys um, so that you had something to watch up until the end of I think it should be the 29th of October is probably the last I think that's the day um, the last day of this series for me so um yeah so i was trying to rush to get that done and then this card just did not do what i wanted it to do <laughs> i kept having issues with glue and i kept having issues with tape and you know when you just think oh maybe i should bother uh i did have that thought process so just back to the card i've turned this over so now i'm on what will be the inside but when you actually put it together those flaps are going to flap outside of the box so they won't go inside the box so that's why we'd, we've turned it over to do this so the bottom half is going to be on the inside and then those that I'm where I'm putting these um, I think it's Sahara sand stamping up cardstock I'm putting those panels on there and that will be you will see that on the outside of the card um, again it will make more sense once you really start to put this together so that's basically oh here I'm going to show you those will flap down like so and then the wider ones are on the outside and it just it folds flat so it's such a neat thing um, so again I'm just going to these little green ones I decided they were going on the inside um, and I've done three you can do as many as you like um, again the tape wasn't great so this is the tape that just like oh yeah I mean it wasn't expensive tape so it's probably really why but <laughs> just when I went to take the photo it just fell apart I was like no anyway so I have to work this out every time I do this and I do make a bit of a boo-boo here I actually put one of the panels way too close to the front 
of the card but I rolled with it for this because like I say everything was going wrong with this card <laughs> today so um yeah so you want to be on the second one in the the sort of more square or the narrower piece and um I started I was trying to work out where to place it and I think I decided to go in the middle of that I sort of start in the middle of that little panel and then what I should have done is I should have just butt the other two up against that one either side of it so you see how I've left a space there I should have just butt that right up against that um, with a little flap that's sticking down uh, for that first or the middle tab I should have actually just butt them up each each of them against that instead of what I do here which is this first one is way too close to the front of the box and you'll see that in a minute it works and as you can do that by all means and I make it work <laughs> because I was getting fed up with this thing so <laughs> um, yeah so I'm just showing you how easy it is to actually put the thing together and um, it really is quite a simple box to put together but like I say just those front ones you can see the front one there is really close to the front <laughs> the front green one so I that's where I should have actually just butt them up against each other and that way it would have given still enough space to put all the layers in but you would have it wouldn't have been right up against that front piece so here I'm taking some white cardstock and I'm just gonna stamp happy Halloween <laughs> from our patch to yours I thought that was cute and those are both from that same stamp set and then I'm just going to trim it down. I'm just keeping this label, uh, sentiment label, whatever you want to call it, um, very simple. Just easy block cutting, you know, nothing fancy, no dies, no nothing, just really, really easy. And that will eventually go, I was trying to decide here, but it eventually goes on the front panel there, which I think works really well. So, <laughs> Here are all my houses. Again, I coloured them in with um, in rainbow order. I just stamped them out and then coloured them in. Just each house, I just picked a house and coloured it in. But I did it in rainbow order and I love rainbow order. I just think it makes things look so cute. So um, I used some, what did I use? To I used Copic markers to colour these in. And I love Copics. They're so quick and easy to use. Um, they're an alcohol marker, so you know that or watercolor I just love watercoloring takes me a little longer but I just I love the effects that you can get with a lot of shading and things um, and again I'm just running running <laughs> I'm not running anyway um, <laughs> I'm just rubbing out all the pencil lines because I use my brother scan and cut to die cut these out um, so here's where a I'm way too close to the camera so I'm really sorry that you can't see everything that I'm doing I landed up standing for this bit just so I can see what I was doing but I forgot that I was on camera so, <laughs> so I uh, yeah lose myself in in the moment so to speak so apologies that some of this is very close up um, but these um, it's just trying to figure out where you want everything to go now so you're creating your little in this case it's a village it's a spooky village and I'm just putting all these guys together now I tried to go in rainbow order with the houses as well in the order in the you know in the different um, sections uh, that didn't work either so <laughs> um, because my orange house which should be which would be the second in the rainbow is kind of large like it's a big house compared to the other one so I decided to put that um, at the back eventually um, and then of course it took me forever to get the tape off and like I say this card is just like done my nut it. it just whoa my little brain was fried with this one so uh, yeah and again sorry I'm off camera <laughs> for most of this bit um, but it was it was a lot of fun to do I also made the mistake or well I say it's a mistake the idea that I first came up with was to like either do some no line coloring or um what was the other thing I was going to do or like the water coloring that sort of thing so I actually used the same paper for all three methods um and the copic coloring as well and I used a, a mixed media paper from Smith's and 
it worked beautifully for the watercolor but not so much for everything else so I mean the alcohol markers were fine like I made it work um, and it worked okay um, it was a lot harder to actually move the color on there and to blend um, because it's not it's not the kind of paper that's meant for that type of coloring so in hindsight I should have used three different types of paper but I wasn't thinking that way I was thinking I was going to heat and them and then do some you know I don't know what my brain was thinking but <laughs> that was I was trying to sort of do three cards in one uh, the no line coloring thing did not work that just I could not get it to work on this paper um, I think no line you need something like especially when you're using your zigs you need um, like a bristle smooth or a very smooth paper um, that works amazing they just glide on there um, it did not on this <laughs> so, the watercolor one from the video before this one um, works beautifully and the Copics I had to work a little harder with them but it actually worked really well and they or it's okay I think um, maybe they, they're not as bright the colors aren't as bright as you would on a smoother cardstock um, or like on a Nina um, type of cardstock but it still worked and I decided to use these guys and they cut out really well again um, yeah <laughs> so just putting all my little my little peeps in there and my trees and uh, there's a there's some trick-or-treaters in the back there I thought they look kind of cute in the back <laughs> and I'm using some glue dots to stick some of it and some just really thin super sticky tape um, on some of the other elements and then I think I even bring in some wet glue as well because I wanted to put one of the little bats onto the tree so I had nowhere else for him to go so <laughs> I thought why not stick him in a tree I mean makes sense right anyway I'm kind of rambling now <laughs> so I, I hope that you've enjoyed the whole series I know I did a mini series in the middle of all my Halloween stuff this year um, of you know 2019 but I hope you've enjoyed them um, I am going to take probably a little break um, well I'm not really going to be breaking but <laughs> a break from uh, making videos shall I say uh, because hubby's overhauling my entire craft room so um, we're going well we're going to do it together and so when I'm filming this bit um, I think it's like the day before or something <laughs> that I that I'm gonna start to do it something like the day before two days before maybe something like that anyway so there from this angle you can see the village and it looks really really neat right yes <laughs> and then <laughs> I will show you it will fold flat and it just I love this card I love cards like this I just think they're so cool but then it fell apart so use good adhesive the thing that you don't want to use if you use a wet adhesive just be careful um, to stick your elements in just be careful because obviously you don't want that leaking out and then sticking the card together so as long as it's dry it should be fine um, but just be aware of that that's why dry adhesives just a bit easier but it's a bit more tricky to get in there <laughs> so, but look at that then they look neat it turned out better than I thought and then what you do is you just kind of fold it all like that and it just folds flat that's what I love about this thing look at it you've got all that dimension all that like holy hell there's like a bunch of things in there and then and yeah it folds flat I just it just blows my mind anyway small things for me <laughs> I hope you've really enjoyed this series I hope to see you guys next year for my other Halloween my next Halloween series don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more from me and have a happy Halloween and I'll be back in a couple of weeks for the Christmas series see you soon guys bye